This is Hague here with a virus removal video for uh, betastrade.exe and betastsd.exe. Um, this is a virus or a, or what, it's a Trojan downloader of some kind or a, f a s fake security client perhaps in a different language. It's very, it's, a, it's, a, it's not good to have on your computer and it will hog your system resources, slow it down to a halt. This is malware, this is a virus. And um, this is an, a computer infection, so I'm going to show you how to take care of this. And uh, you'll notice that there's a suspicious icon, and it, it has a really, I don't sure what language it is, but it's suspicious, and I can't even read that. And uh, that's going to be a common thing. And you will notice your CPU usage when you get infected by this is up to 100% steady at all times, keeping your computer very sluggish, slow, and unresponsive. And uh, it never changes. If you go into your task manager by uh, hitting the Windows key and go right clicking up down in the taskbar, start task manager. You go into your uh, service, your performance, and you'll see your CPU usage is consistently running at 100%. That's um, the very common sign of this malware infection rendering this computer extremely slow. So I'm going to show you how to remove this off your system and uh, hopefully we can get rid of it. So if we try to go into our processes and we right click and we try to end it, it's going to say that we cannot end this process because the malware is blocking us from actually ex disabling the process. If we actually right click and try to end this other one, it's not going to allow us to end this progress at all. All right. So. What we're going to do here is we're going to try to attempt to boot boot this computer up into safe mode and try to remove it in safe mode and see if we can actually have some success here. I've tried RKO, it couldn't work. So we're going to boot this into safe mode. So to do that, we're going to head to our start menu. We're going to write MSC config. Wait for our system configuration utility window to open. It's taken forever. You're going to see a lot of pop-ups kind of like this one here. Just exit out of that. And you'll really notice your computer running slow. So that's very normal if you, with this infection. All right. Head over to where it says startup. And you're going to see that it's been programmed to start with Windows. So it's going to have this funky name here. We're going to uncheck that and click apply. And... When you do that, it seems to automatically put itself back in there, which is very suspicious. So obviously, we can't just simply uncheck it, click apply, because it automatically starts itself again. If you expand this before we boot into safe mode, we could see here that the actual path to this registry key file is in H key local machine software slash Microsoft Windows current version run, which is the actual path of the registry file from this actual startup item but anyways we've got to boot this computer into safe mode so to do that hit the boot tab click advanced option actually check safe mode safe boot and you want to choose and make sure network is checked and click apply click ok and it's gonna say you need to restart your computer to apply these changes click restart and that's going to boot this computer into safe mode so we can go in and we can remove this infection Right now our computer's just rebooted. It's now attempting to boot up into safe mode. It's just loading up all of its drivers. This is very normal when your computer reboots to see this because what it's doing is it's booting into Windows safe mode, which is going to show this. If you're running of higher versions of Windows, running Windows 8 or Windows 10, 
you're going to be uh, not seeing this black screen with drivers coming down here. It's very normal though if you're running on Windows 7 and down to see this, so don't get too panicky. This is a completely normal. All it is is loading your drivers up so you can go into safe mode with network and just let it do this for a bit. All right, Windows updates was trying to load at the same time here for us, so I have to wait for that. Okay, once you guys booted into safe mode, you're good to go. And um, I'm going to break this video into two pieces because my screen sh recording software only allows me to make 10-minute videos. So once you're into uh, safe mode, follow along with ne the next video. The link will be in the description box for, the for video two.